hey guys welcome back to sebro so in this video we will be talking that how to fix unfortunately nox launcher has stopped working on windows 10 so many of the users are recently having these issues where they are getting different errors like nox google services has stopped or nox app player not working or nox crashing on windows 10 so if you are having any such problem so i'm going to share five effective methods that you need to try one by one and this will be fixing all the related problems to Knox. So let's see with the number one where you need to increase the virtual memory size on Windows 10. The logic is like if you lack with the memory, so definitely the application will be uh, like it will be having a trouble, it will not open or maybe it will get crashed. So it, in order to increase the virtual memory, press Windows and E E on your computer, E for elephant or E for E as an echo and then come here on your PC where it says this PC or make a right click on it and choose properties. It can be done on Windows 11 as well so you have to go with the same method. Now here you will find advanced system settings. Click on it and a new box will be coming off system properties. So here you can see performance, click on settings, and then on advanced, and here you will see virtual memory, click on change. By default, it will be checked to automatically manage paging file size for all drivers. So what you have to do, uncheck this and check custom size. And here you need to manually set the size. So how you will do that? So if you look at the bottom, it says total paging file size for all the drivers so here you can see recommended currently allocated so what you have to do like uh, whatever is your size here it shows here okay you need to copy this and paste in the initial size and now in the maximum size you need to take three times of the initial size so if i do it 13 92 into 3 it would be around 4000 so i take it 4000 all right once again, recommended would be on the initial size and in the maximum size, the value will be the three time of the initial size. Once done, click on set, click on OK, and then click OK again. Once you are all set, OK, you have to go with another step, another solution. As I said, you have to perform all the solution one by one. And after that, you need to check whether the problem has been fixed or not. So you also need to close all the other applications like, like if you're running any other kind of emulator like uh, BlueStacks or like let me give you that see uh, if I search I also run BlueStacks. So while running BlueStacks I was having the same trouble because these emulator occupies a lot of space on your computer. So if you're running any other emulator at the same time and all other application which you are not using right now you need to end them because they occupy a lot of space on your hard drive and from your ram as well so you have to go to your task manager make a right click on the taskbar and choose task manager on windows 11 you can also use the shortcut key that is control shift and escape now here you need to choose all those applications that you are not using so like say main you will find in the app so you can go in the detail section and here like I'm using any desk so I will just quit it so you just make a right click on it and then choose end process tree so what this will do this will completely close all the any desk file similarly you if you are using the browser chrome or edge and that is currently not in your use so make a right click on it and again choose end process tree so you need, you need to do the same thing for all those applications that are running in the background. So this can be emulator, this can be other application or it can be a browser. Okay. So once you are completely done with this, just leave as it is and you need to go with the number three step where you need to quit Knox player completely and restart it again. Okay. So once you are done with solution one and two, so what you have to do again, now here look for Knox player make a right click on it and click on end task instead you can go on details and look for knocks here 
So scroll down and here you can see and click on end process tree. Why I'm telling you that you have to do from details because we need to uh, close all the files of Nox. So there should not be any of the Nox file running in the background or else it won't be working. Okay. So make a right click and choose end process tree. And once it's been completely closed, you now you can try and see that if it works or not. But it's still, if you if it's not working, then you have to disable your entire virus and restart your Nox application again. So if you're using any app like any of the entire virus program, so on the Windows 10, if you just click on the drop down, you will see that micro uh, anti virus running here. So you can just make a right click on it and then click on exit or quit. You can even do the same from coming to the task manager. You can close it from here. Okay. So once you are done with this method as well, okay, you just need to check if this works or not. And you also try restarting your internet connection. Okay. Like after closing everything, after disabling your entire virus program, hope so that probably there is problem with your internet connection where it's not giving you the good bandwidth or the fluctuation is very high so you just go and restart your internet connection come back again restart your computer as well and see if it works now if nothing works for you if you have tried everything and it's still the same problem coming up or it fixed one or two of your problem but still there is any other problem coming up then you have to completely reinstall your Nox player how you will do that not from the windows you have to download a third party software that's called revo uninstaller let me show you how you can do with that go to google.com and here in the search type revo uninstaller you will be getting option of free downloads so once this Revo uninstaller is being downloaded, what you have to do, the first it will ask you to take the backup, create a restore point of your computer in case if anything goes wrong, you can recover it back. So you can go with the restore point, you let it create a restore point and after that uh, it will ask you to delete and then it will ask you to delete from the registry. So you also need to select all the keys and after that just follow the instructions delete completely follow the instruction properly and after that come back restart your computer come back again and just download the Nox player and i'm very sure that this will be helping you to fix the problem of unfortunately error problem that comes on the Nox player so hopefully i tried the same steps and you can see that my Nox player is all is working absolutely fine it's coming up and not not having any kind of trouble because uh, the major problem is, as we know that it occurs because of some kind of memory problem or there is not any space on the hard drive or internet issues. So I have tried all of them and now I can see that my, my Nox player is working absolutely fine. So you do the same step and if it works for you, do not forget to like and subscribe for more related videos. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next session. Bye-bye.